one of the top left-hand relievers in the game and a guy that we've always uh, uh, really uh, were impressed with and we've always had difficulty hitting against and thought that uh, he'd be a great addition to our club. I'm Jay Berman with the MLB.com FastCast. The Reds were at it again as Cincinnati acquired pitcher Sean Marshall from the Cubs in a four-player deal. Marshall set a Cubs single-season record in 2011 with 34 holds. Over the last two seasons, Marshall ranked second among all major league pitchers with 158 appearances. I'm just looking forward and embracing the opportunity to go to the Reds and, and have a chance to really compete and, and win the division and ho hopefully, you know, come home after the season with a World Series ring. I think that they have the right players on their team. I think that Walt's making some great moves. It's going to be an exciting year for myself, and, I, and I hope, hopefully we can you know, win, a, win a championship as a Cincinnati Reds. In exchange for Marshall, the Cubs landed pitcher Travis Wood, outfielder Dave Sapelt, and minor league infielder Ronald Torres. Wood went 6-6 six and six with a 4.84 ERA and made 18 starts for the Reds in 2011. Sapelt played in 38 games with the Reds last season and compiled a 243 batting average. The Nationals' trade for Gio Gonzalez is now official. Washington general manager Mike Rizzo really likes the way Gio will fit into the Nationals' rotation. He separates our two power right-handed pitchers, and we've got a power left-handed pitcher. And in this, in this division, um, because it's such a difficult division, that uh, we felt that we, we needed an upgrade with our upper rotation guys, and, uh, and this, was, this is the perfect formula for us. For more on the story and to see where the next big-name free agent may land, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.